the two letter word Bima Sugam could actually prove to be the biggest reform in the insurance sector in the days to come. The insurance regulator has asked insurance companies to operationalize Bima Sugam by January 2023. But what is Bima Sugam? Think of it as an Amazon like platform where all life and general insurance policies will be listed. Bima Sugam will be responsible for sale, servicing, and claims coming from these insurance policies. Who can buy insurance policies from Bima Sugam? Aggregators like Policy Bazaar, brokers, banks, insurance agents uh, act as facilitators or bridge in terms of selling insurance policies through Bima Sugam to individuals. What's the best part? You as an individual can also buy your life, motor, or health insurance policy through Bima Sugam. Now, who gets the funds to start Bima Sugam and who owns this platform? Bima Sugam will need approximately 85 crore rupees as initial capital. Insurance companies are expected to be major shareholders of this insurance platform. So initially, some general insurance companies will hold about 30% stake in Bima Sugam and another 30% will be held by some life insurance companies. A list of some of these general and life insurance companies you'd be able to see on your screen. Now, as more funds are required for the operations of Bima Sugam, more insurance companies will be roped in as investors. Now, the most important part, what's in it for you, me and many other policyholders? Bima Sugam is expected to significantly reduce commission paid by insurance companies. How? Let's look at life insurance sector. Life insurance companies pay around 21 to 45 percent commission on the sale of their policies depending on the policy term. Assuming that an individual buys a 10-year uh, insurance saving policy, if the premium charged on this policy is about uh, 100 rupees, then the commission included in this 100 rupees would be around 30 rupees, which would be paid by the life insurance company to the insurance agent, aggregator or the broker. This would leave the life insurance company with just 70 rupees to invest and give returns to the policyholder as his policy matures. Now, the commission on Bima Sugam could come down to just about 5% as compared to the earlier 30%, leaving the insurance company with much larger sum to invest on behalf of the policyholder. On a term insurance policy with the same calculation, straight discount could be given on the premium to the same policyholder. Now, let's look at the general insurance space. If on a motor or a health insurance policy, a general insurance company pays a total commission of 19%, Bima Sugam could bring down that commission to just about 5%. What could that look like? If the motor or the health insurance policy through an agent, broker or an aggregator comes to a premium of about 100 rupees, then the same policy through Bima Sugam would actually come to you at a premium of just about 85 rupees.